All right, welcome back. Thanks for joining me, guys. Got another radio for sale. I uh, just wanted to do one more of these 29 builds because I had another faceplate I had to use up. So this one here is blacked out. All right, calling it the 29 blackout. Ended up going with a uh, painted black bezel, painted black knobs, and uh, shadow black camo for the vinyl covers. I also even did black case screws um, on the sides and the bottom for the speaker. So came out really, really great, really sharp. Uh, it's got about, I was telling some guys in the stream the other day, um, which if you guys aren't know, aren't, don't know about it yet, I'm going to be streaming more often. So uh, pop in there when you can, say hello. But uh, yeah, I've got about three coats of paint on everything here. Um, got the one of the Gamma Ray graphics, uh, faceplate decals, because a lot of people ask, where, where do I get these from? Did a uh, Cobra 29 LTD chrome meter. Okay, uh, that's a brand new meter. So it's got the white background and then blue light. Changed out the channel display for blue. Changed out the receive transmit for blue. See it go red there. And um, we got this little button here. This is like a giggle switch. This turns the amp on and off. Got a talk back switch here. Need that because we have this. We have echo. And also we got another little bonus, RF power. If you're going to be running an amp or um, you just want that adjustability. But for this one, if you uh, are going to run the RFX, I have it set up real easy. Turn this all the way up. RF power all the way up. Amp on. Set it and forget it. So um, this way too. Also, if you turn the amp off and you're talking with this all the way up and then you turn the amp back on. And you forget, you know, like say if it was set differently, um, like you needed to have it down halfway and you forgot, well, this way you're you're totally fine. So there's um, the only thing would be if you left your RF power down and then you turned the amp on, it won't it won't feed enough input into the amp to kick it on. So um, it does need it does need the full output to work correctly. And I'll show you what it, that's doing for a key. But um, I got this one set up right now on the frequency counter. And also we're going to listen to it on the monitor radio. Let you hear this audio because this one here um this is a used radio so this is a 29 ltd and it is not brand new so it doesn't have fm um, this was just one that i wanted to uh do up i had it laying around here and uh what was i going to say here um oh for the final i got a 1969 final so it doesn't do big huge barefoot numbers but what's really nice is it's got that super smooth uh, bipolar type audio and not the MOSFET, uh, which could be some some guys could tell the difference some can't but um, you, you guys out there know what I mean uh, you, you can't beat that that 1969 audio or uh, the bipolar uh, final audio you know straight transistors not not MOSFET so um, let's listen or uh, let's check this thing on the frequency counter first show you I got it dialed in hopefully she didn't move on me just keying it up here Okay, so 2720499, close enough for the girls I go out with. All right, um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go up two channels. We're gonna let you hear it. Uh, no, actually, I'm gonna stay on 20. I'm gonna let you hear talk back. So here's talk back. Audio. Oh, I gotta turn my mic gain up. I'm gonna try to cover all these features here real quick. Audio, audio check. Break, break, break. Go a little more on the echo here. A one, a one, two, a one, two, three, four. All right, now we're gonna go up to the monitor. Now these are, uh, this will be on the website. They do sell quick, so you kinda kinda jump over, gotta run over there and jump on it if you want it. Here's the monitor uh, radio. A one. A one, two, three, four, five. Audio check, break, break. And I'm using a uh, Ranger SRA 198 right now. One, two, one, two, one, two. All right, so uh, we'll flip the amp on. It might overdrive it, We, I don't know, let's see. One, two? Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely overdriving it with the amp on. One, two, one, 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 one two, three, four, five. There we go. Yeah, it's a lot of power to be um, that close. So we'll go back down to 20 here. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause it. I'm gonna get this unhooked. I'm gonna get it to the dummy load. 
All right, so let's see what she's doing for power. We're gonna show you the variable here quick, about a 50 watt slug. All the way up is eh, around five watts. And turn it down, it'll go down to nothing. Okay, turn it back up. And uh, yeah, so about five watts all the way up. Turn the amp on, it's gonna be about 15 watts. Yeah, I was just holding it up there for a minute because sometimes with the uh, build up a little heat, she'll she'll creep up a little bit with the uh, with the dead key. But being that this is a bipolar final 1969, not the MOSFET, they really don't get as much as that, as much of that. Um, so yeah, so that's where we're at with the RF power. Like I said, we're all the way up on the amp. Let's see what she's doing for power. Hello, radio check audio. So right about uh, just under a hundred. Doing showing 30 average there. Let's pull this out. We'll put it on the 250 watt slug. This way we'll see peak on the bird. So it's gonna be right under that 10 mark. Show you peak. Okay, this is what is uh is your modulation here. So she's got nice loud modulation. Audio one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, see it's just under the 10 there on the bird. And she's just under 100 on the LP. Audio, one, two, three, four, five. And that's with, you're not gonna believe this, she's only doing audio check. She's only doing 20 watts. Audio check, she's only doing 20 watts. In a pretty looking waveform. All right. So uh, I think that's pretty much it for the transmit. We see what she's doing. And uh, I'll just let you hear it with the uh, receive. Let, let you know that the receive is working. All this stuff's working. Um, bright dim, I didn't show that. I do have the bright dim circuit enabled for the LED uh, for the meter still. Um, we'll do, let's see, we'll show you that the SWR Cal still works. So let me turn the mic gain down here. Okay, Cal, turn this back. See, we still have control of our needle, so we didn't lose any functions. Yeah, right about there is close enough. Switch it to SWR. Boom, drops down, we're on the dummy load. All right, so let me just show you it on the receive. All right, you can hear the signal coming through it there. Um, we're at 109. I don't have my monitor on right now. You can see there with the screens off, but uh Last night when I was setting this up, this is where it came in at 12 dB with 109 So that's where I had it set um, for today You can hear it Okay Oh, I'm sorry oh, I did the frequency and you could hear she's working fine Okay, good, squelch, oh. it's trying to squelch it, but the, I got to uh, turn it, yeah, the knobs wanted to stick there for a second, but yeah, squelch is working, now you can tell, all right, uh, so, that RF gain RF gains working all that stuff so she's uh she's working good let's actually we'll dial it down a little bit more um, take it down to like here let's put up our modulation go 100% modulation we'll go like 120 here all right still in there so all right that's it for this one um i'm gonna put this for sale on the site you just go jump on the site and then uh you choose which way you want to pay but yeah um came out really good obviously it's going to be cheaper than uh if you were actually to have this done and uh and and you know spec'd out this way but um i'm gonna let this one 
let go of, like uh, basically for uh, what the last one went for. And uh, yeah, so hope uh, somebody enjoys it. Get a last little look see here. Appreciate everybody checking it out. And uh, there you go. All right, guys. Catch you in the next vid or uh, catch you in the stream. Okay. Radio Garage, we're off the key.